You know what? We love getting requests for videos like this, so if you're looking for how to pass through a GPU to your virtual machine in ESXi 8, stick around. This video is going to walk you through configuring and passing through a hardware GPU in VMware ESXi 8. If you haven't seen our how to install ESXi 8 start to finish video, I highly recommend you check the card above. This video assumes that you've already installed ESXi 8 and it's up and running, that you've installed your GPU into your virtual host, and that you have already created at least one virtual machine to pass the card through to. Ready? Let's get to it. All right, pop a browser of choice and log into your ESXi's host client web interface. We'll be using the ESXi host that we built as part of our How to Install ESXi 8 video we recently released. This host is fresh and brand new with just two VMs currently running on it. Our first step will be to enable pass-through for the GPU we've added to our system. This is actually a really quick thing to do, so we'll swing up to Manage in the Navigator pane on the left, and then to the Hardware tab on the right. Right there in the list, we see the NVS 510 GPU I've installed in this host to pass through to our VM. Obviously, your device is likely different than mine, so take a moment to find it in the list of hardware. Depending on the amount of gear you have in your host, this list could be long. Once you locate your GPU in the list, you'll notice that pass-through is currently set to disabled for it. Let's fix that now. We'll swing over and select the checkbox next to the NVIDIA Corporation GK107 NVS510 device in the list. You'll notice that when we selected the checkbox for our GPU, two entries were enabled in the list. This is because the GPU I've installed, like most GPUs, has an audio controller embedded on the card as well. Even though the video functionality and the audio functionality are technically separate, they're both part of the same device tree and will be enabled together. Now we'll head up to Toggle Pass-Through on top and click it. Boom! And just like that, our device has been enabled for hardware pass-through. Now you can see in the pass-through column on the right that our GPU and its associated audio controller are set to active. Awesome, let's move on. Now, I know that was easy because, well, it is. But there's an entirely separate set of steps that we need to do to attach our fancy pass-through GPU to our VM of choice. Let's get to that now. Let's head over to Virtual Machines in the Navigator pane on the left. I currently have two VMs built on this host, an Ubuntu Linux VM and a Windows 10 VM. There's no limitation to what OS you can pass a piece of hardware through in ESXi. Your only limitation would be if your chosen OS supports the hardware you're passing through. For the sake of visuals, we'll be using the Windows 10 VM we have on this host, but you would follow the same steps if you were passing hardware through to a Linux VM as well. We'll head over to our Windows VM and click it. Currently, our Windows VM is off, which is a good thing because we can't add a hardware pass-through device to a live VM, so if you're following along with your own VM, make sure it's shut down. We need to edit our VM's hardware configuration to add our GPU, so we'll head up to Edit at the top. Welcome to the Edit Settings page of your VM. I'm sure you're familiar with it by this point. We need to check and make some changes to this VM's configuration before we can pass through our GPU. Our first stop is under CPU, so click the down arrow next to CPU on the left. By default, on a Windows 10 VM, the setting Expose Hardware Assisted Virtualization to Guest OS option is checked. This feature is only supported for Windows VMs as it adds functionality to expose full CPU virtualization to the guest VM. This option is for people who want to run Microsoft Hyper-V inside of a VM running on ESXi. I have no idea why you'd even want to do that. Hyper-V is garbage. Change my mind. It's not something we'd be using on our VM anyway, and nested virtualization, that's what they call it, isn't compatible with pass-through anyway, so we'll uncheck it. Next, we need to uncheck Expose IO MMU to the guest OS as well. This feature also conflicts with hardware pass-through, and it's also part of directly accessing hardware on a system from a VM instead of passing through the host's virtual translation layer. We're all good here, let's move on by minimizing the CPU options. Now expand the memory section as we need to make a change here as well. In ESXi, when you pass through hardware, you're required to reserve all of the memory you've configured for your VM. If you've assigned 8GB of RAM to your VM as we have for our VM here, all 8 gigs will be dedicated just to that VM and will not be shared with other VM workloads on your host. This is kind of a sticking point that deserves some conversation. See, the beauty of virtualization is being able to have high density on a single host because even though you may have assigned 8 gigs to a VM, it's likely only using what it needs and the rest is still available for other VM workloads on your host. Reserving RAM makes that RAM, used or not, only available to that VM. If you're light on RAM in your host, losing a big chunk to a VM that may or may not be using it kind of stinks. But unfortunately, it's required for a VM with hardware pass-through. Anyway, we'll swing down and check the box Reserve All Guest Memory All Locked because it's a requirement for pass-through. Moving on, we'll go ahead and collapse the memory drop-down and finish up here by adding our PCI pass-through. All right, let's add our hardware GPU. Head up to Add Other Device, and then down to PCI Device in the list. 
Down at the bottom of the list of hardware, we find our new PCI device entry. And unsurprisingly, our GPU is already populated as ESXi adds the first available pass-through enabled piece of hardware automatically. When we click the down arrow, we can see that our audio controller is also available to select as well. Since all we want is the GPU, we'll leave it set on the NVS 510. One important note about pass-through. Enabling pass-through will disable some of the features you might be accustomed to using in virtualization. For example, you can't suspend or create a snapshot of a VM using hardware pass-through. And that kind of sucks. Also, if you're using vCenter with a cluster of ESXi hosts, you can't migrate a VM with the pass-through to a different host. That one honestly kind of makes sense since the hardware is physically installed in one box and if you move the VM to another box, it's kind of hard to pass through something that's not there. Now, there are solutions, especially for GPU virtualization, that allow you to share internal GPUs with numerous VMs and do the magical suspending, snapshotting, and migration, but as you may have guessed, it costs money. All right, we're done here. So let's click save and get this party started. Now we'll start up our Windows 10 VM and make sure we see the newly added hardware. We'll go ahead and click the play button in the console window to boot our VM. Now we'll get logged into Windows and then right click on the start menu and select device manager. Since this is the first time we booted after adding our GPU, we see the default Microsoft basic display adapter listed under graphics adapters. Just like a physical GPU installed into a physical PC, we need to install the driver for our card. Depending on the GPU you've passed through, you might be good to go with the drivers that download from Windows Update, or like us, need to install the NVIDIA driver specific to your GPU. After our driver installation, we can see our Quattro NVS 510 listed and available to our VM. That's all there is to it. Quick shout out to our YouTube members. You guys are great and help us keep doing what we love. So thank you very much. And special thank you to our newest member, Kevin Emery. Thanks for joining Kevin. We're happy to have you. Now that you've finished this video, check out our list of other virtualization videos we've done in the past. If you're looking to get into virtualization, we can help.